Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelby Bizzle here on YouTube, and today I wanted to share with you guys a few of the snacks that I will be making and putting together for our road trip that Madison and I are going on this week. Speaking of, shameless plug, if you're interested in vlogs uh, about my life and Madison's life, we actually have a channel. I haven't promoted it a ton just because I don't want to feel pressure on that channel to do anything any certain way. It's just very candid, very much just hold the camera in front of me and it's my life. But if you're into that sort of thing, head over there, subscribe, follow our road trip, all those sort of cool things. Okay, enough about that. But the reason I wanted to share this today is because I wanted to make sure that we had healthy snacks and also snacks that were not going to cause a ton of waste while we're on the road. When I was younger, my parents took us on quite a few road trips actually, and we always ate junk food. That is the reason I fell in love with the combination of hot fries and Mountain Dew. And uh, bad habits die hard, but I wanna make sure that we don't do that this time. Because not only is food that you can get from gas stations on the road super unhealthy, but it also creates a lot of unnecessary waste if you just do a little bit of planning ahead. So a couple essentials that I wanted to mention before we get into this that you do need if you're gonna try to do a zero waste road trip is going to definitely be a water bottle. So everywhere I've ever traveled, except for California, you can get water for free if you bring your own bottle. So like fountain sodas, those soda fountain things that are in gas stations and rest stops and things like that, they will often have a water spout. And you can totally fill up your own water bottle for free. The only reason I think they don't have that in California is because when I was there, their drought was like at its peak and I think they just weren't giving away like free water. I don't know, but that's the only state I ever noticed they didn't have water at their soda fountains. But pretty much everywhere else, bring your own water bottle, free water, saves you money and will save you a lot of waste. Bonus points if it's a thermal water bottle, like a thermos insulated, that's the word, insulated water bottle and it'll keep your water cold uh, even if you haven't stopped for a while. The second essential that I wanted to mention are stasher bags. So these are like reusable silicone Ziploc bags. I know they're not called Ziplocs, that's not the style, it's the brand, but that's what I know them as. So this is like a reusable form of that. Even if you are packing your own road snacks to make them healthy, a great way to transition them into zero waste is to have reusable bags. I use these for everything all the time, snacks, other things to travel in. I have a few of them and some of the other ones I'll use to like pack my shampoos, like bathroom items and stuff like that and then also food. So this is a great segue actually into my first thing that I wanted to share that I'm packing for us to snack on and these are vegan Cheez-Its. So if you guys have never heard of Minimalist Baker, uh, they run a great blog over there with a lot of really great recipes. I don't bake very often, but these only required a few ingredients. Pretty easy. Like I said, they are vegan and I'll link that recipe down below. It's very simple. I'll go ahead and put the cutouts here. Basically, you just mix all these ingredients together. If you're much more fortunate than I am, you will not have lost your food processor um, blade. I don't know where that could have possibly gone, but I lost mine so I was using my Nutribowl it. Basically you just combine those all together to make the dough, cut them up, put them in the oven and that's it. Very, very easy. I'm able to get all of their ingredients I needed to make this recipe in bulk. So that may just be me. I know a lot of people don't have access to bulk like I do, but a lot of these ingredients I think you probably already have sitting around your house and if you can just combine them to make this, that's awesome. So check out the recipe to this in the description and also check out the link to stash bags. I'll leave that below as well. As a matter of fact, I was talking about mine and Madison's channel earlier, but I did a zero waste grocery haul on our channel, uh, haul and vlog over on our channel. If you wanna go check that out, I'll link it in the cards. Okay, so when you're on a road trip, you need savory snacks and you need sweet snacks, or at least I do, I think. So the other savory snack that I'm packing are uh, in these cute little divided uh, containers that I have. They're actually glass, so the lid is plastic, but the container is glass and it is portioned out. So I like these for meal prep, like meal prepping my meals for the week if we make stuff in advance, but I also like to use it to compartmentalize things like this. So I'm just bringing some grape tomatoes. Again, I bought both of these things package free and then some snap peas. And I can't decide if I'm gonna put more snap peas in here or if I'm gonna make this like vegan cream cheese ranch dressing thing. Um, I actually have a packet from when we were uh, traveling not too long ago, but I've had it forever and it's just like a seasoning packet that you mix in with cream cheese and then you can dip stuff in it and it's so, so good. So I'm thinking about making that, but that wouldn't be zero waste, so, cause the cream, vegan cream cheese comes in 
plastic packaging, but I'm I'm still definitely considering doing that. But I'll go ahead and link these meal prep containers below if you guys want any. Uh, but this is a great snack option because these things can be eaten cold or room temperature, so I just think that that's a good thing to pack for a road trip. I lied, I have one more savory thing. Um, I don't know how well this is gonna keep up in the car or outside of being cooked, but popcorn. I think popcorn will keep as long as you don't put butter on it or olive oil or any of that stuff. I think that's the stuff that kind of makes it get soggy in that uh, texture that you don't really like. But I can get popcorn seeds in bulk uh, at Central Market in Austin, and I think Ingredients has them too. But we'll be popping some of this so that we don't have to create any waste to make our popcorn, and I just wanted to mention that one as well. Okay, on to the sweet snacks. So the first thing that you want to think about whenever you're packing zero waste sweet snacks for a road trip are the easiest, most convenient way to do a zero waste snack, fruits. So we got some apples, Madison grabbed a couple peaches, and we also have some bananas. So these are obviously zero waste, well I think there might have been a sticker on this at one point, but other than that, it's completely package free and it's compostable, right? So I can either keep these and bring them back to our compost when we get home, or I can just kind of bury them in the soil and they will decompose and make their way back into nature like they were meant to. So definitely consider fruit as the first thing on your zero waste road trip. The other things I wanted to mention are things I got package free in bulk and I recognize that that is a privilege and I'm pretty spoiled in that way, but I purposefully live where I live because of the access I had to things like this. So take that for what you will, but I do have access to some pretty great bulk stores that have uh, package free in bulk dark chocolate vegan almonds. So these are just almonds covered in cocoa cocoa chocolate it was vegan I, I remember reading the ingredients on the little bulk packaging so I got some of those and then also at Central Market you can get vegan cookies without packaging Central Market you guys if you live in the Austin or Dallas area is amazing I don't go there that often Madison thinks the prices are a little bit higher I don't think they are I think they're pretty reasonable and I'm really sorry for all of you guys who don't live in Austin but if you do uh, you can go get cookies there they charge per cookie so it's a dollar per cookie so you can just put it straight into your own container you don't have to worry about the weight or anything like that so we're gonna be bringing a few of those with us as well alrighty guys well that's all I had to share with you today I just wanted to show you a few ways you can have zero waste snacks on the road and these aren't just for the road honestly you can have these snacks anytime and they're pretty easy convenient and of course healthy and package free I'm gonna leave some links down below so you can check out our vlog channel you can follow me on Instagram and so you can check out stash or bag my water bottle or any of those things that you might want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out some of my other videos if you are new and remember until next time, create peace.